Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, partners, Mark here, and um, I've had a lot of questions, and I've seen a lot of confusion about Preston, the butcher in the base camp. Um, he confused me a lot. He confused my wife, who's playing the game a lot. He, they just don't do a good job explaining him. So I'm going to try to do it. Um, hopefully I get it right. I'll probably make some mistakes, but if I do, don't forget to leave a comment down below for others to see. But let's give it a shot. First thing we need to do is actually talk about the interface. Now, if you look in the upper right-hand corner, we have three icons. And these, these three icons represent the medical supplies, the ammunitions, and the provisions. And they represent just how well stocked we are. So a red icon means that it is really low. And a white icon means it's, it's at like 50%, like it's an okay level. And yellow means it's well stocked. Now, before I guess we go any further, um, I should mention that in order to gain access to all this, you do have to finish the mission Money Lending and Other Sins with, uh, with Strauss. Once you do that, it unlocks the ledger. And when you have access to the ledger, then you have access to some of these other things over here, like the medical supplies and the ammunition behind Arthur's uh, tent. And then the provisions over here. Yeah, so once you unlock the ledger, which, by the way, is over here. Let me walk over so you can see it. The ledger is right there. So finish that mission, then you'll have access to it, which means then you'll have access to uh, upgrades to the camp as well. Now, why would you want to do all this? Why do you want to donate stuff to Pearson? Well, the reason why you want to donate is so you bring morale up, and morale is important because um, when everybody is happy, they begin to donate to the camp to the tithe as well. The tithe is the donation box over here by the ledger. And so when they're donating more, that means everybody's getting more supplies. And then that means you get extra stuff over in the medical center. So you will get extra stuff over here. You'll get extra ammo in the ammo area. And you'll get extra food in the provisions. So it's just a boon to the whole camp if you're donating stuff to Preston. Oh, also one more thing. Let's talk about, uh, let me finish up with the interface up top. So we have the three icons, I talked about that. But below there are, there are there's money, there's two different um, money pools. And the first one you could see up top, 46 cents. That is actually the pool of money for the entire camp. It's pretty low for me just because I just spent a ton of money unlocking the leather working tools, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later um, and then you could see below that below the briefcase is a wallet and that is my money I have thirty six dollars and ninety three cents so anyway okay let's get started here with um, Pearson so if you look at the bottom right it says donate and craft crafting upgrades so let's press right on the d-pad and hold it in and that will bring up the menu now it's important to note if you have stuff on your horse you don't need to bring it into camp to Pearson at all. You don't have to do that. Just leave it on the horse, walk over here, and in your in the menu here, if you press R1 or the right bumper, you could cycle through the different sections of the satchel. At the very second to last, there is horse cargo, and you will see your pelts, and you will see any of the carcasses you have for the animals. So don't bring them in here and try and dump them on the table or anything. Leave them on your horse. It's easier this way. So yeah, you can donate stuff. I have some pelts on my horse, but you can also just come over to recent and it also have like the meats or even if you do have a carcass, it'll, it should be in here too. But if you can't find it, then check over here under the horse cargo. I'm going to highlight a couple things. And if you look in the bottom right, it says donate for provisions, um, donate for funds so what that means is if you're going to donate for provisions that means you're going to give him some meat and it's going to donate to the provisions in the upper right hand corner you can see my icon is red right now so if i start donating meat that should i should go away 
And if it feels like you're donating a lot, it does take a lot for that to eventually go away. And if you have a ton of meat from like a carcass, it's, it's obviously going to affect that more. Let's keep looking in the bottom right-hand corner and you donate for funds. So if you look at the bottom left, now there's a value for $2 and 50 cents. Okay, so right here, if you look in the bottom right hand, hand corner, it says donate for crafting. Let me back out of this menu. Now, if you look in the bottom right hand corner, it says crafting upgrades. So I'm going to press triangle or it'd be Y on the Xbox. So this is where you can upgrade like the satchel. And you need perfect pelts for the satchel. You see, I need three different types of uh, pelts. But let me show you something else. So I just showed you those horns. So if I go to Scout Campfire, come down here to Hanging Bones, I have one belt, uh, buck antler in my inventory. But if you read down at the very bottom left, it says Pearson does not have all the ingredients. So in order to craft this stuff, you actually have to donate the item to the camp. So for instance, the buck antler is here. So let's go ahead and donate it. Now, press triangle, we're gonna go back, and now we're gonna try and see if we can craft it. Hanging bones, there it is. Pearson has enough ingredients to craft. So you can't craft any of this stuff if it's in your inventory. You have to donate this stuff to the camp first, or to Pearson, however you wanna look at it. So now that I have it, let's go ahead and craft it. And there it is. Also, pelts. You can donate pelts to Pearson as well, but it's it's basically for cash value. So look, if you look at my pelts here, you can see the value down there is it's 69 cents. There's another way to donate pelts or affect them, but you have to find a trapper, and that's a whole different guide and video. Um, so I'm not I don't know enough about it to talk about it here in the in this video, but I just know that there is another way to unlock outfits and stuff with pelts. But you can take you can't take your pelts to like a general goods store because they're not interested in anything <laughs> bloody or with holes in it like that. Um, but you can take them here to uh, Pearson. So if you see, donate for fun. So I'm gonna go ahead and sell that, and there it goes. So let's talk about the leatherworking tools. So the reason why I have so little money is just because I recently bought them, and you need the leatherworking tools in order to upgrade the stuff in your camp. So come over to the ledger here. And here you can see the activity for people in the camp, including me. You can see that I, I put a bunch of stuff in there, but you can see in the, the top right page, bought leather tools, $225. Yeah, it's really expensive, but here's the thing. I didn't have enough money in my wallet for it, but you can dip into the camp funds in order to buy it. So that's why the camp funds are so low right now because I used a bunch of it to purchase the leatherworking tools. And then when you purchase the leatherworking tools, then you can come over here and it unlocks all the upgrade stuff from Pearson. Let's go into the crafting menu. So this stuff will all be locked like this. All of this will be locked unless you get the leatherworking tools. All right, guys, I hope this helps. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It does help me out quite a bit. Um, if there's something was missing in this video, uh, feel free to comment below. And um, thanks for checking out my guide.